Hello everybody and welcome to <laughs> Wasted. Uh, a bit awkward. Uh, I know a while back I mentioned that occasionally you might get non-Isaac content still on the YouTube channel depending on what I'm playing and stuff like that. Uh, well, I streamed this the other day and I can't stop playing this game. I absolutely love this game. This is Wasted, a post-apocalyptic pub crawler. It is a roguelite first-person shooter. Uh, heavily influenced by Fallout and Borderlands and stuff like that. It's kind of a parody on them. If you were on the live stream, you're aware of it. If you were just on the YouTube channel, obviously, first and foremost, go to the Twitch channel. Give me a follow there and catch us out on the live shows. We do them a couple times a week, several hours of, you know, good gameplay and conversation. So, first and foremost, if you're just here on YouTube, please consider going over there, twitch.tv slash pentahybrid, shameless whoring. But what this game is, is I can't stop playing it, and I promised on the last live stream that I wouldn't play it again without you guys as an audience just because we were we had a really good character and it's a roguelite so like if this character dies they're gone for good we have a very good character and so I wanna share this with y'alls so for the new people that have never seen this game before you'll get your first chance to see this game and yeah we are we are decked out with this character and I'm pretty sure we're ready to go right away, so we're too rested to sleep. Rifle ammo, buckshot ammo. Uh, I got my fanny pack, I got my armor on. We're Margaret Kim. Can carry 50 extra rifle ammo. More damage on headshots. We've got plus 10% of damage, plus 2 obliteration, which our obliteration is freaking 5, but we don't use melee ammo, uh, uh, melee or, uh, explosions that often but if we end up doing it we have a high skill in it and we have a lower chance of or we have a lower damage we get dealt less damage that's what I meant to say uh, I'm not gonna bring any many stims with us which are healing items I'm not gonna bring any because the first couple levels are ridiculously easy with our character right now is there anything in here you know what you know what hold on just in case. Those are courier boxes if you weren't familiar. This is a, a way for us to put extra stuff in there. So I'm going to put probably like 50 pistol rounds. I'm going to put like an extra 50 rifle rounds in there because this stuff actually won't disappear. And I'm also going to put our greaser in there just in case. I don't intend on doing a whole ton of looting on this and I don't know how long this video is gonna be so I'm gonna put 30 we will put our greaser we'll put our pistol ammo in there and we'll drop 50 of you off as well all right and then we're gonna get uh we're gonna head out to our our cooler oh my god this feels weird doing a video that's not Isaac I haven't done a video that's not Isaac in a long time but I'm seriously uh, hoping that you guys enjoy this. Do I have anything to heal myself? I realize that I don't have any HP. I should have healed myself before I left. That's fine. And now we're in the dungeon, the cooler CA. So we are incredibly strong for this part of the game. Might as well take it. Might as well take it. I can sell stuff, so I'm gonna try and grab stuff that's worth a bit more. And I'm also on the lookout for. Oh, there we go. That's a flask. These give us. These give you a random status effect. It can be bad. Can be good. To dumbs, it decreases tinker by five. Are you serious? Minus five tinker. Tinker is how you, that's your, basically, that's your nerd stat. That's what allows you to hack into things and deactivate traps. So that's a bit unfortunate that we have a minus five now. I've been playing, oh, there's another one right away. I've been playing a th so much of this game, guys. You have no idea. It's 10 bucks on Steam. Lose one TP every time you take damage? Fuck. I 
you're wondering why I have a red lamp on my head. Wait, how did you die? Bear trap got him. If you're wondering how why I have a red lamp on my face, that's actually a good question. I have a red lamp on my face from the It's another one right away. No, that's an exit. It's probably not good. I'll explain that mechanic in a minute. That's another doozy. Might as well take it. That's a blue ox. I'll use that to get plus three speed for the minute, for a time being. Uh, slow mojito, your movement speed is reduced by 5%. That's actually not really that bad. What was I gonna explain? Sorry, I got a little, I got a little, little caught up. Hold on, hold on. What was I gonna explain? I was gonna explain the, uh, the, the, the basic mechanics to the people that don't know what this game is. So, it's a roguelite. So you progress through levels and levels and collect all these, all these fancy looty things, equipment, ammo, upgrades. You upgrade your character as you saw. There's quests you can do as well. Like right now, I have to continue to explore the lower fo floors of the cooler. Uh, and once you die, like if you die, Margaret Kim is no longer, she's dead. Respawns as a new character with zero stats, zero equipment, zero item, no buffs, no benefits, and you start again and try and collect things and collect things. That home base you saw sitting at the beginning of the video is basically your hub that goes over all characters. Anything I store there can be used on any run by any character no matter what. So pretty much when your character dies, if you don't put stuff back at your home, it's gone for good. If you deposit it back at home, or if you leave the cooler, you get to keep it. How do you leave the cooler? That interesting bottle you saw back here, the slow mojito, these are hangover drinks. These are booze. If you drink this, it takes you back to your house. However, the early levels of the game, as you can see here, are almost always negative effects and that incentivizes you to keep going it's like do i want that negative effect do i want is my run so in danger or do i have such good loot that i will risk lowering my speed to save that loot or am i just gonna risk going onwards and i'm gonna risk going onwards obviously because like i'm super powerful for this point in the game this is the first level i'm gonna throw that radio just because i don't give a damn i'll give no shits the blue headman's only worth 20. I'm on the hunt for... Okay, so now something's out to get you. You can see that just said that right there. <laughs> That's the purifier. The purifier. Is an NPC. Much like the ghost in Spelunky. That spawns. That spawns after a certain amount of time in a level. However, I've taken up killing him. Which is where all of our cool armor came from. What the armor we're wearing right now is actually his armor. 
because I've taken up killing these guys. Oh shit. I got a metastim. Do I have metastims? I could have sworn I picked some up. Fuck. I could have swore I picked some up. Shit. Uh, get rid of this. And... Get rid of that. Actually, you know what? Keep the tater. Target lost. It's up. As you might imagine, similar to Fallout. Enemies' limbs and such take different amounts of damage. Take different. I say, like, I just broke his leg. <laughs> Trying to do some huge hits on him. The best parts about the game, though, is dick shots. Shots to the dick are crits. They are guaranteed crits. So we're gonna kill this guy, and if you kill him, he doesn't spawn again. Well, he doesn't spawn again for that level, anyway. Seriously, we're low on ammo, actually. There we go. Oh, I'll take that. We're gonna drop off the, uh... We're gonna just eat the junk food and drop it off. drop off the rod away. We take this stuff, because that's worth a shit ton of money, and we can sell it. I need some shotgun ammo. That's an inaccessible door. Yep, we're gonna take it, sure. We've gotten two bad ones. What can go what can go wrong? Decreased hit by five. Jesus, mother of God. The nice thing is if I make it back home, sleeping will get rid of those negative effects. The downside is you typically don't go home until you're like pretty much 100% done with your run. And by run, I mean like hopefully at that at that point several several levels in. You could very easily just drink that, uh, that right there, the, the whatever it's called, the whatchamacallit, but I don't want to. Bum, 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 bum. The music is also really good, sound effects are really good, the level progression is a little weak 
to start, and obviously you're not seeing the beginning of the game right now, but the beginning of the game's level progression, depending on who you ask, is a little sour, and that has mostly just... That's mostly got to do with the fact that that SOB, the guy that you just saw me kill, is a freaking nightmare to start out. Like, he's actually... <laughs> almost impossible to kill to start out. Let's try to get this fourth one. Can we get a good one? Regenerating. Okay, regeneration. We gain, th we regenerate three HP every ten seconds. That's very good. Finally got a meta stim. But your goal is pretty much to make it, to get as much stuff as you can, and then leave the level. To leave the level before the SOB arrives, but obviously, if you're in the position that I'm in, killing the SOB on these early levels is not that big of a deal. But early on, he can be a nightmare to deal with. still take a decent amount of damage from these guys on the early levels, there's no doubt about that. That's a horn dog armor, that's not what I'm looking at. I'm looking for the buster armor or some kind of shit, I don't remember. I'm looking for a specific armor set. Oh god, I don't want to read that shit. As well as three hit for ten seconds. I don't have any tinker, so I'm just gonna actually climb around this shit. Serve me no purpose anyway. That trap could actually kill me. That's the exit of the first level. <laughs> 17 minutes in. I don't know. I just want. I just want to play this game. I really want to play this game. I don't, I'm not expecting to do a huge victory condition here. Congratulations. But I do want to play it. And I figured, what better way to play it than to share it with my lovely community that I have. I should just take one of those, but I'm going to be risky. Obviously, hanging around and killing the purifier every single... Oh god, every single time is not the most recommended way to play. Oh, I already got him on the five. Perfect. Key mapping. Love it. Being able to map my keys. Oh, what's this? Bruised brandy. Take 10% more damage against melee attacks. No, thank you. It's, God, I love being able to carry so much rifle ammo. You, could, you only start out being able to carry 100 of each stack of ammo. Or at least any of the ammo that I've seen. I know there's like, oh, Jesus, fuck. I know there's like rockets and stuff like that as well that I haven't seen. I know there's like energy guns that I haven't seen. Oh. I know my katana can get in here. Really? Or not? You use can openers as lockpicks. I just don't have any, unfortunately. <sighs> Bear trap. That's a little hidden ammo box right there. Yeah, see, there's the power packs. That's for the energy weapons. That I don't really use. Oh, Jesus. 
you just gotta really, really hope you don't die. I have a feeling the purifier is gonna be here any second now. Not exactly sure if I'm gonna try and kill him this time. Obviously, I don't condone just going after the purifier right as you start the game. Just because he is not easy. Time to play. Gotta aim for the dicks. Dick shots, man. I'm not joking when I say that those are crits. Those are crits. Get some meta stims. Hell yes, more ammo. There's our exit. So the purifier's not here yet. Usually that's not gonna happen. Let it be known that you're not usually gonna, when you're first starting out, you're not usually gonna. There he is. And now I'm gonna hunt him. I've been told by a reliable fuck. I've been told by a reliable source. Fuck! <sighs> I was trying to get. I was trying to get him knocked back enough so I could run in the cubicle because I wanted to work my way around him. I should have just left. I should have just left. That was stupid. That was very, very stupid. I should have just left. Well, there goes Margaret Kim. Our uh, character was... That character lasted, like, forever. And then now you start from scratch. We're probably going to go in here, load up, and... Uh, Call it a video. I hate all this equipment. I hate this equipment. I don't want to touch it. I don't want anything to do with it. Not here. Here. What do I got? I've got my bum bag, my fanny pack, my side slung. Plus five sneak. Plus two tinker. Could be like a real sneaky person. I'm just gonna wear the cooler armor, I guess. I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, minus 10 shoot. That's so bad. Yeah, Western Romancer's hat is pretty much trying to get you to use explosives. Man, like, I'm actually a little broken up. Not gonna lie. A little broken up. That sucks. <sighs> I'm gonna unequip that. I'm gonna take, uh... I'm gonna take all of that stuff. Just because I'm gonna sell it. I'll take the, uh... Point niner and... Probably, like, ten ammo, I guess. I'm not going to take the point niner. I know what I'm taking. I know what I'm taking. I'm going to get all outfit and then probably just wrap up the vidya. I'm taking my damn greaser back. I'm still leaving the ammo in there, though. Greaser's like a, a semi-auto rifle, like a SMG almost. Except I'm going to probably take like 12, 30 more. No, I'm going to take like 20 more. I don't want to take too much because I can still only carry... Fuck, I'm going to put 7 of this away. I can still only carry 100 
And I don't like leaving ammo to waste in there. Before we do anything, though, let's, uh... I don't have anything else to sell. I could sell this, I could sell that, I could sell these. I'm gonna keep the cooler armor and stuff in there. Is there anything in here I wanna sell? Uh, ignores one armor. That's a rifle. It's pretty decent. I mean, like, I really want to sell that, but I'm not gonna sell that stuff. <sighs> well, you know what? You live and you die. That's that's the that's the the the, the vices of a roguelite. My character wasn't gonna last forever. I did lose my full bucker, which was my rifle of choice. That really sucks, but that's what that's what you get when you take a. You drop the deuce that glow in the dark. Very charming. That's what you get when you take fancy equipment with you, and you end up being cocky and dying. I lost my sob armor. We have to kill another one. We have to kill another one. What's up, dude? You must ship it. All right, show me the lost and found. Maybe if I'm lucky, some of my stuff can show up in the lost and found eventually. But it may take a while, and I have no idea how much I'm gonna have to spend to get that stuff back. Welcome back, idiotic. You're not any. I'm just gonna skip all this stuff because I believe I've already done this. Yeah, I've already read all this stuff. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, I'm not sure if there's another quest or anything. Okay, there's not another quest with him. Anyway. It's 5.46 a.m. Shit. And I can't sell anything to you. Because they don't have any money. So I have to wait till 8 a.m. Which means I am not going to wait until 8 a.m. I'm going to go back home. I'm going to sleep for a few minutes. Because I don't want to sell this stuff before I end the video. She's... Not there yet for another two hours. Home. A little heartbroken about that run, guys. I'm not going to lie. A little heartbroken. That was my fault completely. And I threw Margaret Kim out, Margaret Kim out the window. So I'm gonna sleep for like three hours. Two hours, fine. Skip this. All right. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about Wasted. Uh, I'm gonna be playing this more on stream, so if you guys want to see more of this game, that's where most of it's gonna be. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing a whole ton of videos on it. Uh, just because time, obviously. Uh, show me your wares. Alright. So. Sell the doozy. Sell the doozy. Sell the doozy. Sell the little mini shit. No, I'm gonna buy... Some medicines, I guess. 530. Jesus. Sure, we just buy some of that stuff. I just wanna sell some of this stuff. So sell that, we'll sell that, that. That, 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 that. I'm still going to be making away with a decent amount of money. And I bought some stuff. She's actually... She sells buckshot as well. I should be... I should be buying, like, ammo. But... I shouldn't... I'm not going to... I'm not gonna. I'm gonna behave myself. I'm gonna give this guy a little bit of a... Give me some champagne. Uh, mixer of the day, sure. Mixer of the day, these are... I'm, make, I'm basically making a cocktail. This cocktail is a benefit or a negative thing that's going to affect this character. 
It'll affect this character until I sleep. Um, and it's completely random from what I understand. And I'm taking a mixer of the day, which every day in game day has a different effect. On the rocks. Always on the rocks. Please don't be bad. Oblit up and weak attack up. I don't know what that means, so let's check it out. So we're gonna go to our buzzes. Bartown's best. Plus two obliteration and plus five to percent to all damage. And increases your max HP by 50. One and a half life brew. The bomb diggity, I'm a smart ass as well. Wait, where am I getting that plus five to tinker? Am I, oh, the cooler armor, right? Because I'm wearing the cooler armor. Plus six to tinker, yeah. Dude, 150 health. I've never been over 100 health. I'm super stoked. I've never been over 100 health. Now I just can't sleep. Uh, yeah, we're gonna deposit like 24 of this. Dude, that's awesome. Now this character can't die because I have all my extra carry weight here, and I don't. You don't get these. Uh, let me show you. You don't get these like bum bags, fanny packs, and side slug fanny packs. I don't. Those all increase my carry weight by three. So if I have all three of them equipped, I can carry an extra six things, which is amazing. Especially because it just adds the three. It doesn't count itself, which is awesome. Still need to make that. That's the bruiser jacket that I was looking for. <sighs> hmm. Yeah. So now I gotta go over. I should just. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Use it. So we're gonna put you on one. We're gonna put you on five still. Feel weird just having one item. I'm gonna metastim myself real quick. That should heal me for 25, I believe. Yeah, and then if I use another one. Because I have like 20 or something in here, don't I? Oh, they're in here. Yeah, I have 24 of them, so I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Fully heal up, and then I'm going to wrap up the episode. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Deposit your money. Deposit the money, because I'm, I'm swimming in cash now. 22-something. Uh, don't sleep, because if I sleep, my cocktail is gone, which means my extra 50% HP is gone. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Wasted. I don't know if uh, this is going to be a regular thing. I just, honestly... Because of the stream, I was like, guys, I don't want to play because we got such a good character. I'm not going to play off camera just because I want you guys to experience that character through and through. If they die, if they live, so on and so forth. Ronald Reagan, Haru. Uh, or Jen Richard Nixon. Excuse me. Wow, Ronald Reagan. Richard Nixon, Haru. Anyway. So, but yeah, and Margaret Kim died. Now we're Terra Rom. And you know what? It's a roguelite, so I'm just ex I'm just as excited about this character as I am for the next character. I wish we didn't lose all the shit that I had, but you know what? That's the penalty. That's the penalty. So you go, guys. Guys, go pick this game up for ten bucks. It's on Steam. Ignore the negative reviews on Steam. All the negative reviews have to do with the guy we just killed and got killed by. That sob purifier is the number one reason, and you'll see it in the reviews. Is the number one reason. This thing gets this game gets shit on because it's too difficult. It's not too difficult. Look at me. I got 2200 bucks in the bank, I got a shit ton of equipment, like, just be patient, persevere, it's a roguelite. If you're not a fan of roguelites, of course it's going to feel difficult, but if you've been playing, if you've been around the block playing roguelites for a long time, these, this game is not going to feel too difficult. It's going to be punishing, yeah, when you lose all that shit like we just did, but I'm just excited about this run. It's a run-by-run -run basis, guys. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.